Welcome everyone back to another Clash of Clans video on the channel. It's your boy Clasher Mike and today guys is a very very special video that I've been waiting basically two weeks to make. This has been a long time coming because I've been working on so many upgrades before this upgrade was even started. We are finally at Town Hall level 12 as you guys can see right here on screen guys town hall 12 and this is so amazing guys i am so happy that i was finally able to get it all done and the cool thing that i just found out about town hall 12 is that you can actually upgrade the weapons on the town hall 12 this is amazing guys you have to upgrade the giga tesla on top of the town hall in order to then upgrade the town hall itself this is going to be so much fun guys this is going to be so cool but for now guys we do have a couple other upgrades to start we do have two builders available so we only had one a minute ago but one of the upgrades just finished so as you all can see we have a couple things getting worked on at the moment one of them is the seeking air mine that's going to be done in a half hour but that's going to be for the next video i'm going to start another upgrade in our next video guys but we also have the grand warden he's currently getting worked on he's going to be done in less than two and a half days and the final upgrade is this archer tower right up here that's getting worked on going up to level 13. All the other archer towers around the map are level 15 guys as you can see and this cannon down here is actually level 13 whereas all the cannons are also level 15. So of course that's going to be something we are going to work on with our coming upgrades but for now guys we do have quite a bit of other stuff to actually get started on so I'm just going to hop right into it right over here guys we're going to go right into the shop we're going to go right over to defenses and we're going to start a brand new inferno tower. So let's jump right into doing that right away. I'm gonna have to find a spot for that one somewhere here. I'm not too sure where I'm gonna put that. I do have all four expos kind of around the town hall. Both of my inferno towers right around the town hall, as well as the air sweepers. I definitely wanna rotate this guy actually. He was definitely facing the wrong way. But we also do have a brand new hidden Tesla as you guys can see. I actually, once the town hall completely finished upgrading, I immediately got a few things started just to, you know, get it rolling with the new town hall. And the hidden Tesla was one of them. It's a level 2 at the moment. The rest of them are all level 9. So quite a way to go still. But we're going to get there, guys. We're going to get there. Alrighty, so now we have three days until the Inferno Tower is completely done. I'll show you guys what else is going on here. We have the brand new workshop as well to get started on. So we're going to immediately start on that. That is a six day build, guys. Six days and then we're going to be completely ready with the workshop. That's going to be so useful having those siege machines. But it's still going to take six days days six days is a long time to wait so guys in those six days we have all these other things that are gonna get started so we're gonna finish up the inferno tower the grand warden the archer tower and the seeking air mine we're gonna start working on this cannon here as well as completely upgrading the archer tower over here the plan is also to completely finish my walls so as you guys can see my walls are kind of all over the place right now they're currently mostly level 11 as well as a couple level 12s down here I need to work on those. Guys, that is a seriously big, big daunting task. And that's going to cost me 450 or really 500 million total elixir or gold combined. That's a lot of loot that I'm going to have to go for, guys. And that's going to take quite a while. As well, you guys can see I have almost 200,000 Dark Elixir. That's going to be reserved for the Barbarian King over here. He's currently at level 46, but he is completely raged up right now. Because we did finish the Town Hall 12, my troops are boosted up to their max level for the Laboratory. As well as my heroes, they're boosted by 5 levels, guys. So that has been very, very useful in all of my attacks. And speaking of, guys, let's hop right into an attack and I'll see you all when I'm there. So guys, I accidentally skipped over a loot base just now, but I'm so thankful that I did because I actually just found this base right here. We're just going to hop right into it, guys. One golem over here, one golem over here. As well, I'm going to put Pekka. Pekka followed up by a couple of the wizards. We're also going to put Pekka, 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 and then Pekka right at the bottom. Followed up by a couple of troops all around, guys. We need to get as much of this loot as possible, and we are definitely getting it. Wow, guys, this is crazy. We, we have easily a million loot with this base. Easily a million loot of at least just gold alone. 
as well we have almost a million elixir I believe or had it was probably closer to about 600,000 but honestly I don't truly remember this is gonna be an easy one star right here guys as well there we go easy one star we're gonna let our troops just go through it a little bit more getting a little extra of everything because that extra 200 elixir doesn't hurt to have and now we're gonna end it well actually this P.E.K.K.A. right here is about to get there to the Dark Elixir Collector. There we go, guys. Dark Elixir, of course. Our Dark Elixir actually is full, so we're just going to end the battle right there. Look at that, guys. 800,000 Elixir, 5.8 thousand Dark Elixir, and over a million gold, plus the bonus loot that we get from winning that battle. Awesome, 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 guys. We're going to hop right back into our base over here. And the one thing that we also should do, of course, we need to train a new bunch of troops as well there we go we can also see these siege machines are going to be done wow that is so exciting guys i can't wait to have a siege machine ready this is going to be awesome guys but let me show you all what else i'm so happy about right over here guys i have a ton of loot in my treasury and that is awesome because i'm going to definitely be needing that within the next few days as well guys if we win one more match and get two stars in that match we're going to, of course, get another bunch of treasury loot. So guys, we're gonna hop right into another match and I'll see you all when I'm there. Alrighty guys, so another slight loot base and what we're gonna do is we're going to immediately put two golems right down there, follow it up with four P.E.K.K.A.s as well as one P.E.K.K.A. up at the top, follow that up by a couple of the party wizards all around. We're gonna try and get as much of this loot as possible and I'm pretty sure we're basically gonna get almost all of it. The only thing that I don't think I'm gonna get is going to be this gold collector right here i don't believe i'm gonna actually get to that but i'm hoping this pekka over here can really put in some work for me right now guys he's gonna really have to do it for the team though and when they're distracted i'm then going to put down my archer queen to hopefully help a little behind there we go guys and we're gonna rage up our barbarian king rage up our queen to make her invisible from that cannon the baby dragon just took all that loot there we go guys we're gonna save our heroes here because we don't need any of the two star right now i don't believe we would have gotten it anyway but it will be nice to have of course with that extra loot a four million gold that's amazing and when the next upgrade is done in 21 minutes i might just try and record tomorrow's video and get it ready for you guys and just start working on another upgrade probably the barbarian king though first and i'm just gonna work on saving up as much gold and elixir as possible as well guys the laboratory upgrading to level 10 let's see everything requires it to be level 10 basically i really need to get started on the electro dragon my pekka and i need to work on this golem the golem is so useful for me guys it's currently raged up it's a level four so i'm just gonna end the video there thank you all so much for tuning in to another video as always i love you guys so much you have all been so supportive of my recent videos i've been getting more views not a crazy amount more but i have noticed a few more views on my channel so as always i do appreciate it and as always reek if you are at the end of the video thank you so much for the support for the comments on my recent videos it's been amazing and it's really helped me to keep pushing for better videos i know i've only put out basically two videos and i did have to of course re-upload one due to the poor quality but i figured that issue out and everything is hopefully a little bit better now so again thank you all so much i love you guys have a good one later peace